welcome back for Smoke the Shoe. I am here with Cameron Sousa. Cam, you bowled today in our semi-final event, right? Yeah. What did you hit? Do you remember? No. You came, I heard you came in fourth place. So it's a couple spots out of the making it on the show. Are you going to try again sometime and try to make it on our show? Yeah. Well, today you were lucky enough to be the contestant for Smoke the Shoe. And I filled you in with what that contest is, right? I'm going to throw one ball, and you're going to get to throw three balls and try to beat what I hit, right? Yeah. You think it'll be an advantage because I'm wearing this costume that's going to get in my way? Yeah. All right. We're going to ask you to take a seat for one second, and I'm going to have Steve hold my microphone. All right. Last year, Dan was pretty hot. He had a couple of back-to-back -back strikes at one point. See if his cape gets in the way. It doesn't. It's a solid ball. He's going to take seven. So Cameron's going to beat a seven. Nice job, Shu. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. The Cameron bowled really well today. If he beats it on his first ball, he gets $20 in Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. Not bad at all. It goes nice down price. by five for each ball. It takes him. It's a good ball. Oh, he could beat it in one ball. Come on, give it to him. Let's say he tied it. Seven. What's that do for him, Dan? We never really figured out. Let's say he beats it here. Another solid ball. There he goes. He beat it. Got it beat. Nice job. Yeah. $15 in gift cards. Oh, we'll let him throw his third ball because this is moment on TV. Nice box. Great job. Good job, Cameron. You beat me. Say hi to everybody anyway. <laughs> we'll get Cameron his prizes and we'll be right back for string number two. All right. We're back with the second and final game and our ladies are back up on the stage, and Summer Eaton is ready to lead us off. Go get him, Summer. Summer on lane three. On the two pin. Five pins remaining. Michaela all over the front one. A tough shot, but not impossible. Let's see what our girls can do here. It's a nice ball by Turtlelot. It's only a five pin difference in the match. It was 81-76 in favor of Summer and Jacob. A big 10, a solid 10 to start, Dan. It's a way to protect your five pin lead. Start off with 10s, don't give the other team any chance to come back. Picked up two pins on that. Leads up to seven now. Is this Summer's first time with us? This, I do believe this is Summer's first time. Throws a very nice ball, great form. It says she's from Leo Super Bowl. We've had many contestants from there before. They have a good program. And one of the nicest arcades around, Dan. <laughs> Great place to host a birthday party, says, as well uh, as the Pilgrim Lanes here in Haverhill. Her most proud accomplishment, and this is Summer, is uh, she got her 85 patch recently. And coming on this show. Another, another nice nine. 19 after two. Michaela's going to take seven. She's at 15. I think this is a bad sign, Steve. I look over their uh, stat sheets, and I see that uh, Summer's favorite song is something called G6. I have no idea what that song is. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both, Dan. That's, that's probably not a good sign for me. <laughs> I see Summer's favorite movie is Monsters, Inc. And her favorite TV show is Wizards of Waverly Place. I know I what that is. My daughter watches yeah. that. I've heard of that. Summer's on the, on the wood. She used it effectively. She's doing a good she job. She takes her 10. 29 after three boxes without a mark. Great pinning. Good pinning. And Michaela with an 8 is at 23. So we can add six more pins to that lead, and it's now up to 12, Dan. Or 11. Excuse me, 11. That is okay. correct. I'll learn how to add one of these <laughs> We know that's not a prerequisite for the host job, says. Michaela throwing her ball. She's averaging 72 this year. With Summer's averaging 80. With some solid bowling for seven years old. I guess it shouldn't surprise us that uh, Summer's getting all these nines and tens in with an 80 average. Both young ladies have high singles over 100. Summer's 101. Michaela's 104. Another 10. Summer Eaton on fire right now with her pinning. 39 through 4. 
Michaela with seven. She's at 30. It's a 14 pin difference in the match. We're in the fifth and final box for the young ladies. You see Michaela's favorite TV show is Tom and Jerry. <laughs> they used to be a, a they used to be a bowling team called Tom and Jerry. Tom Ulster and Jerry Menard. They used to have the Tom and Jerry show. It's a weird looking leave on lane two for Michaela, who uh, jumped ahead a little bit there. All right, we're down to the third and final ball. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. I think she got confused because Michaela jumped ahead one ball. <laughs> I think she had another ball left. I missed that one. Well, Summer Eaton takes five for a 44 half. Michaela turned a lot. A six for 36. There's an eight pin difference in the string and a 13 pin difference in the match. That's just two marks or one mark and some good pinning here. The NYTL, the Northeast Youth Travel League, just completed their first event at the Alley Cat Lanes in Kingston, Mass. And the team from Pilgrim Lanes walked away as champions on the day. We had 10 teams competing from all throughout Massachusetts. If there's anybody interested in joining that program, you just need to contact Bob Brown at the Wuben Bowler Drome. He'll take good care of you. We'd like to get as many teams involved as possible. You need, you need a minimum of three bowlers to make up a team. But the teams are consisted of a, a group of five. Well, the boys taking nines in that six frame, 53-45. Robo show with some body English, Dan. Yeah, the, like I said, these two guys, especially when they're throwing marks, can be really animated, jumping up and down, cheering for their opponents. Yeah, nice back, nice ten, kind of backdoor shot off the seven pin. Would help them out. 63 for Robo show. No, well, they push the lead up to 16 pins. So if uh, if uh, Tortolo and Johnson are going to try to come back. We'll have to start doing something pretty quick because we're running out of boxes. Three to go. We'd like to wish the kids the best of luck up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire at the Bowler Armor. They have the, uh, the big Northeast uh, Classic coming up. That's a month-long event. Kids from all over New England will make their way over to Portsmouth. And they'll compete in team events, singles and doubles. So we want to wish all those kids that will be heading out to Portsmouth these next few weekends the best of luck. Robichaux with a five. Johnson only able to pick up two pins with a seven. It's 59-68. Johnson's going to have to mark out here, Dan. He needs two marks. Well, he's got a high single of uh, 113, so he's very capable of doing it. We've All seen over it the head show before. And he's got a good leave. I mean, it's got the, I think that wood's covering the front end. I, I think it is too, Dan. Jacob Robo made show. a pretty nice try of his shot. Just sliding by. Johnson's going to make it. Yeah. He stay, stay alive, Dan. It's going to come down to the final box. A low scoring match, but a nail biter. 13 pin difference, so he ideally wants to chop six or seven at least off the lead here with his fill. Oh. First ball, very important here for Johnson. He's been psyching himself up a little here, bending down. Both boys have been in this predicament before in this situation. Yeah, didn't get any break. Tough quarter pin break there, only taking three. But the lead is down to 10. He's going to have to make the shot. We're going to have to check the wood on, on lane three here real quick. It may be past the deadwood line. I missed my chance to fly down there. Our cameraman, Chris Riniaz. Great job, Chris. All right. This is a big spare lead for Robichaux to try to put the match away. And he's on it. So we have our first team to qualify for the championship. Summer Eaton and Jacob Robichaux will be moving on to the finals. A couple of high fives there for the winning team today. Johnson finishes with seven and a 79. 
Some consistent bowling by Turtle Art and Johnson. Gives them 155. A 155 final total. Robichaud filling that spare. Six on it. Finishing with 93 and a total of 174. 19 pin difference in the match today. Some fine bowling by our bowlers. We're going to take another break and we'll be back with, uh, with all the interviews in the final portion of the show in just a moment, so don't go away.